to another episode of NG Guest Expedition with Doey. Hello there. Yeah, yeah. We are uh, leaving the... Oh, there's somebody online. Anyways, we're leaving the bar and taking Ami home. We're expecting maybe some spooky ghosts to pop up. So let's see. Ami and I step outside. Yeah. So if Yuji is underground, uh -huh. maybe NG is like... No ground. Nether ground. Nether ground. <laughs> Ooh. Never ground. Ooh. After leaving the station, we walk until we arrive at the underpass. The UP. <laughs> the path <laughs> shortcut straight back to my apartment. Huh? Ami slows to a halt. Oh no, what is it? It's so dark here. I wonder why. Aren't there lights on this path? Yeah, I see lights all around. Looks like reinforcement work on the underpass. They probably cut some of the power for it. Oh. Are we really going to go through here? Well, it's a shortcut. A aren't you scared of the dark? I have a flashlight. Not really. I live in the dark. I'm <laughs> Ash Crimson. I, I thrive in the darkness. <laughs> but what if ghosts come out? No such thing. But, well, maybe, but still. <laughs> but maybe. Oh, that's right. Mom gave you back your flashlight. So let's use that, okay? Ugh, you're such a scaredy cat. You know how okay. everything important is pink? Yeah. What if her ear, ear earphones are important? No, I can see it. I can <laughs> see it. Better. Yeah, thanks. Oh, Ash, isn't that one of those things that takes pictures? Oh, a picture booth. Ami's planning. No, we're not going in. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, my. I didn't realize how scary this could be until your reaction. <laughs> Ami's pointing at one of those ID photo booths that are all over the station. Did you hear that? I cracked my back. I heard it. I heard it. That wasn't that wasn't here last time, no. <laughs> that wasn't here last time. <laughs> it looks fun. I wanna go see. Wait, 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 go with her, go with her, go with her. Before I can react, she's off and climbing into the booth. What okay. if she gets teleported to another world? <laughs> no! I mean come back! Man. <gasps> and, oh, okay, we're fine, we're fine. We'll begin investigating with your okay, left stick and A to look at stuff, press B to end it, and then direction to move, just like in Deathmark. Okay, and locations where it's bright, the flashlight turns into an investigation eye. Oh, that's different because it was mm. always dark. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, try investigating the photo ID booth. Uh, but what if I don't want... Oh, the Ooh. same sound effects! Okay. Like, oh, all the things to look at. Let's just look at stuff. An old-timey fire extinguisher. Wonder if it even works. It's covered in dust. Okay. There's a wine glass on the poster, so I'm guessing the second floor is a bar. Nothing nothing out of the ordinary. These marks make it look like something was torn off the post. Must have been a flyer or something on it. Okay. I guess that's it. All right. It's a coin-operated photo ID booth. The newest model, even. We know about Yo, models. Yo, Ami, what are you doing? Look at this! If you see it on the seat, you can take pictures! I want to take one! What's with you all of a sudden? This isn't one of those arcade photo machines, you know, Purikura, where you can do the sparkly stuff, though that's the top quality stuff, alright? Uh, I know that! Don't treat me like a kid! I'm not playing! Uh, this is practice for becoming <laughs> a grown-up! I'm not leaving until I take one! You sure sound like one right now. Treating her like a kid seems to have pissed her off. She's not gonna give in on this. She's timid, but damn, could she be stubborn. This is getting to be a pain. Please, big brother! I'll even clean your bathtub today! The heck? Fine. Deciding not to argue, I pop some coins in the pay slot. I can do it myself, so you can wait outside, and I'm going to be disappeared and spirited <laughs> away, and it'll be great! But don't go home without me, okay? Uh-oh. I've got to turn the chair, and good! Then, mm, which button am I supposed to push? Is it this one? Uh, um, Ash, I need help. Hey, come on, make up your mind. I pull open the curtain and enter. I adjust the chair height and explain the whole button process to take a photo to her. Hey, let's do it together. Yes, absolutely, yes. Anything for you, my sweet princess. <laughs> what about money? Oh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. What are you saying? This is only for solo pictures. I know that, but I want to take it with you. It's okay, right? Please? 
but... Come on, hurry! It's about to take the picture! Uh, I'm no match for her. Ami, one. Me, zero. I may as well play along. It's not like I care about you or anything. Well, let's see how it turned out. <laughs> Yay! We did it! Ghost? Is it gonna be a ghost in the background? The third person in the picture? Excited. That was really fun! I always wanted to take pictures in one of these things. Ready. Thank you so much for doing this, big brother! I hope they turned out well! I hope so, too. The sheet finishes developing while she talks, and a ghost freaking appears in the middle of the picture. When we take a look at the photos, dot 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 dot! dot, 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 dot. dot. Huh? What's going on? Ah! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god. That's so scary. I hate That's it. interesting. I hate it. Look at how upset we look. <laughs> look, we, we're all pissed in the back. Oh my god. The regular one looks really cute, though. The regular yeah, one looks does. really cute. Oh my god. That's so horrifying. That's so Why scary. Her? I hate it. Oh my god. Out of eight photos, one of them is odd. Ami's face is completely messed up in it. Yeah, no, it, it's more like something bizarre stuck to her face. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God! Eyes. Red. Everywhere on the distorted parts. None of them even look like Ami's. They're eyes of a stranger. It, it kind of feels like it's trying to tell us something. The eyes? To the tell eyes. Us. Big brother, what is this? Oh, uh, the machine's broken. Maybe it's a ghost. How should I be? The, the machine's broken. broken. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, honey. You don't have to worry. Don't worry, sweetie. Yeah, you're right. That makes sense. Don't worry about it, honey. Big brother will take <laughs> care of this. <laughs> uh, let's go home now. Y yeah. Oh my god, that's so scary. <gasps> okay, move. B, this B, is new. Wait, or select to move while investigating. Switch to standby mode. Okay, available areas can be seen on the map in the upper left corner during standby mode. Press the B button to display a larger view map. Okay. Uh, th this is uh, this is all gibberish to me until yeah. I try it. Mm. Uh, move in Same the here. underpass. Okay. Okay, so, oh, okay, so I can press, we can press B, so, so, so we're gonna switch off control, so we can uh -huh. press B to do this, we can scroll around, that's new, that's new, great, and I think that's about it, I think, um, A is flashlight, let's, let's press everything, so A is look around, X, oopsie, Y is this, uh, X is inventory, check bag, check bag how, oh, oh, okay, cool, look at how edgy we look, oh my god, you're a <gasps> That's his name? Yorusuke uh, rather his voice. Yorusuke Tanomu. Yorusuke Tanomu. My voice is very deep. Wow. Uh, third year at Shinza High School. Normally quiet and indifferent, but he can be considerate of his friends and family. We're gonna m force him to! An infamous delinquent known for his fighting skill. He's, his name's well known by others like him. He remains undefeated in the underground match. A series of fight battles his friend introduced him to due to his excellent physical abilities and fighting instinct. Cool. Uh, oh my gosh, there's a lot. It's a lot. Bye! Oh, I kind of want to hear their voices, though. Hold on. So. Yoroshiku tanomu. Yoroshiku tanomu. Haha. <laughs> Wowee! Nailed it. I nailed it. You nailed it. Cool. Nice and awesome and cool. All right. So I just, um, oopsie. I had directional buttons. There we go. Press up. Okay. Uh, let's look around, I guess. The electric meter's barely moving at all. Going by these levels, I doubt anyone's on the other side of the shutter. Okay, but somebody will be, because you said so. There's a big crack in the shutter, so somebody's definitely on the other mm -hmm. side. They're gonna jump out and scare the crap out of us, because it's scary mode. The stores on the other side of the fence have been torn down due to seismic retrofit. That's a very fancy term, seismic, seismic retrofit. retrofit. <laughs> Never heard that before. Should we pass this, or should we open it? Open what? The shutter. I don't think I can. Oh, you can. I like I, I looked at it and I don't I don't think I can press it or anything. Oopsie. Okay. Yep. I think we gotta go. Let's go. Okay. Oh. Ami stops in her tracks. She's looking ahead of us. The flowers are all over. Oh. Uh -huh. She must be talking about that. A ceramic ceramic pots knocked down in the middle of the street. Oh, no, she's seeing crazy things. Withered flowers clog up the gutter on oh. the far side. The wind must have blown them away. What is that? Flower offerings. There was a traffic accident here. She looks pretty bummed. Maybe she knew the victim in the accident. Big brother, I want to ask you a favor. Can you help me put the flowers back in the vase? Is that okay? You want me to get the flowers from the gutter, all right? If we're doing this, make it quick. Thanks, Ash! 
Uh, okay. A dirty mailbox is full of dust. Oh, I, I should be reading it in his voice, I guess. Or maybe, did I, did I just read these normally before? I don't remember. It's fine, I'll just read it in his voice. It's a gutter that desperately needs a cleaning. I pick up the scattered flowers so I can put them back into the vase. Got it. <laughs> Thank you. Obtained withered flowers. Oh, use items. Oh my god, it can be used in certain spots during the missing. Oh, because we're going to apply it to the vase. Okay. That's new. Press the Y button while spot selected to view your inventory and then use it. Try using it. Okay, great. You can review any of the instructions in the tutorial place and look at spirit files. Okay. Cool. What about this gutter right here? That's mighty suspicious. How come it was selected for like two seconds? Uh. The manhole's a little rusty. Okay. How about you? That thing's got footprints on it. Must have been kicked by a drunk or something. Okay. Uh, all right. So I select it. There's a flower vase on the road. Press Y, which is the left button, and pick the withered flowers. Okay. And I pick up the vase and put the withered flowers in it. Aww. Thanks. This was where Yuri got in an accident. Uh, who's Yuri? What kind of accident? Who left the flowers? Uh, obviously the person- I would ask about the person okay. only, right? Yuri Takamura. She was a high schooler who lived in the same building as me. You know how mom's always busy, right? I just get in the way whenever she's got a book deadline coming up. Yuri put come and play with me so she could work. Aw. Maybe I should ask more about it. Oh, we can keep- okay. About a month ago, she was hit by a car as she was walking home. The car was going really fast. They still don't know who did it. She never did anything bad. Maybe I should ask more. Okay. I don't know who's offering them. Maybe it was Kaoru? Mm, not who? in pink. Yuri's friend. Her best friend. I used to play with her a lot, too. I think I got it all. Seems like Ami was pretty close with this Yuri who died in the accident here. She never mentioned this before, as far as I know. Maybe I just forgot when she told me. Yuri was the one who gave me these. The, the headphones. <gasps> They're pink. Ooh. She reaches up to the headphones around her neck. These used to be hers. It's it's a ghost. It's her ghost. Her ghost is in the headphones, and so it distorted her face because it's trying to tell her something. And she's there were eyes on, on. There were eyes on the headphones. Yeah, headphones. Too. Yeah, it's her. She told me she bought a new pair, so she gave me her old ones. I think it's because I told her I thought they were cute. I see. I've asked about her headphones before, but she never answered me. It had to have been right after Yuri died. Her mind was probably a mess back then. I can feel Yuri with me whenever I wear them. Literally, there was a ghost earlier. <laughs> like, she's cheering me up whenever I'm sad or lonely. Mm -hmm. It's my most favorite thing I own. You better take good care of them if they're that important. They'll cry if they get broken. Uh, yeah! And suddenly, Ami looks cheered up. wonder if that's the power of the headphones. Oh, you know what? These flowers, they're almost dead. You think Yuri'd like it if I offered some new flowers? Probably. Come on, let's get going. Okay! Cool. All right. Spirit file. Ooh. Re you here, read it. Go for it. Regarding Yuri Takamura, a girl named Yuri died in a traffic accident. Acquaintances with Ami, Kaoru. Acquainted with Ami and Yuri Takamura. Interesting. Okay, so we're just literally gathering all the gathering all the little bits we know. All right, all right. Yes, spirit file summarizes all the info. We yes, pra 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 practice it, practice it. Cool. All right, sounds good. Um, so we've pretty much looked at everything. Let's just move forward. I like how pissed we are all the time, constantly. Oh my god. Uh. I don't know the con I know that's the kanji for either ice or colds. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, anyways, we walk through the underpass. Oh, we, wa we walk through the underpass. As we get closer to the convenience store, Ami stops in her tracks. Oh, I know. I wonder if they sell flowers at convenience stores. Great. I doubt it. Well, you never know. Let's ask someone who works there about it. She tugs on my sleeve, and I don't fight it when she pulls me into the store. Do you recognize that? It's no, the but... fa Family Mart. Family Mart chime. Whenever you go in, it, it does that. So I always, whenever I go into one, I feel like the employees are going crazy. Because they have to hear it all day, constantly. <laughs> I take a quick scan of the store, but there are only a few customers hanging around. No sign of anyone who works here. Not too worried about security, I see. 
very detailed. Yeah. Let's see, flowers, flowers. It's so detailed. Okay, I, I just drunk, drunk all this in. Look at this, is so beautiful. Right? Wow, whoever does the art, gosh, top notch, both character art and background art, fantastic. Where do you think they'd be? I've never seen flowers in a convenience store, so pretty sure there aren't any here. Come on, you won't know until you look. Okay, now she's just digging in her heels. I'll just look real fast. She'll give up when she figures it out for herself. Oh, okay, so we're in a brightly oh. lit place. Eyeball! The refrigerator is filled with seasonal limited edition drinking waters. Okay. There's no cashier at the register. Seems he's gone off somewhere, because we're gonna be go robbed by ghosts! <laughs> Newspaper stand. First thing I see are the colorful sports pages. Okay. Uh, wait, why did it say lock? Look, look, I can, I can do further activities on it. That's, they're not all like that, right? I can do further activities on it. Hmm, well, we'll keep that in mind, I guess. Uh, anything else we can look at? Okay. Somebody came in. That's so fun. They just put in the sound effect, so it feels like it's actually kind of active. There's only confectionery bread. Tasty. Tasty. The drink section. Next to it are shelves with everyday necessities. A drink set up on a really obvious display. I wonder if it's a new product. Uh, go for it. Wow, why is it pink? New. Saw Palmetto Cider. Late at night, you'll often... Yes! Well, often what? Late at night, you'll often... what? So... I like how bothered he is huh? by it. It's so good. We check every aisle that could possibly have them. I figured as much. No flowers. I don't see them. Where could they be? Why was that in pink? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Should we write it down? Uh, sure. Here. Be our resident note taker. I would love to take up residence here. Yes. No, <laughs> notes. Right then, the door to the storage room opens and an employee emerges from the back. Um, excuse me. Do you sell flowers? Go for it. Flowers? I'm sorry, I don't think we have those. Oh, okay. They said they don't sell them. That's what I told her, but at least she gets it now. We head back to the store's entrance. What? Oh, dude! Oh, hey, aren't you crimson? Hey, what's up? Your lighting is so, like, dark compared to your background. <laughs> <laughs> I turn my head and spot a familiar face. It's that dumbass from the Amanome family I saw yesterday. Maruhashi, I think. Sorry for not introducing myself. I am Mitsuru Maruhashi. My deepest apologies for back then. I had no idea you were closely acquainted with Mr. Seiji. <laughs> I was about to cut off a finger to prove my sincerity, but... Mr. Seiji said that there was no point in offering a dirty finger, so he stopped me. Ha ha ha, Seiji! Glad you're ready to dive full throttle into Yakuza life, but Amanomi isn't a member yet. True, but he contributes a lot to the family already. It's a tough business. Those who collect money are amazing. It's gonna become like an endearing character now. This is so funny. <laughs> Anyways, I never thought I'd run into you here. I come into this store a lot since the family's office is real close. Is that... Momo on the cover? Ami pokes her head out from where she'd been hiding behind me. She'd, she's staring at the magazine in Maruhashi's hand. What a smart little girl. Momo is featured in this week's Young Generation. The magazine cover reads, uh, featuring Momo Kuruse in some kind of flashy font. It's probably to promote her second album that's coming out next month. Oh, I heard about that! There's commercials on TV too! The one where Momo does a cute dance! Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one cute dance. Huh, I would have thought they'd click. Hold on, Ash, do you not know who Momo <laughs> <face>. is? <laughs> oh, yeah, you don't have a TV at your place. Because you're weird. Because you're a weird loser. No TV. I should have expected this of you, Crimson. You're the serious, edgy type. <laughs> but not knowing who Momo is, it's like wasting half of your life. That's all life's worth. Momo Kuruse is a sensation. She's the most popular idol right now. She doesn't just sing and guest on talk shows. She's a great actress, too. Not ringing any bells. I might not have a TV, but it's not like I'm a mountain hermit or something. I would have heard of her if she's that famous. Okay, maybe I exaggerated a bit by saying she's the most popular. A rising star would be more accurate. As an occult oh, but idol... Oh, she's in a cult! We're supposed to... That's so funny! She's really unique. Me and my crew follow her work. So she's just like, um, 
a freaking what's her face she from was the in first red? one? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because she was also kind of heavily occult related, right? Because she worked yeah. with the madam on some occult thing. That's so funny. So she must be the girl that we met originally, the very first one, because she she's dressed in a similar outfit, like a kind of a gothic mm. idol outfit. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that Momo Kurose must but why be her. crimson? What's with the crimson? Why she was like, what a coincidence. That your oh, name that's... is Crimson. Oh, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe she knows us from the underground. My crew. I'm guessing he means his idol-loving crew. Not the Amanome family. I oh, know. but he would have recognized her to be Momo, if it were. <gasps> you're right! Wait, wait, okay, oh my god, you're right. Thanks. Huh. Momo knows a bunch of stuff about ghosts and scary stuff. Hence the occult idol. Yep. She's all mysterious looking, too. Oh, maybe she disguises herself. Maybe she doesn't normally look like that. Okay. Puts on like heavy makeup or a wig or something. Seeing is believing, pal. Voila. Voila? Yeah. Momo Kuruse. I don't know. Is that her catchphrase or something? Maruhashi opens the magazine with a flourish. Oh, oh no, he's presenting voila. her to us. Oh! I don't know. That could be her if she put on a wig or something. She's got all those tattoo things. Uh. Death marks! <laughs> Ooh, what are the black things on her stomach? Petals? See, I feel like they look kind of oddly shaped. He there turns... are some in the back, too. Oh, okay, so petals, petals, head. I guess. They're oddly placed. He turns the page to a glamour photo spread. A girl in a friendly swimsuit is laying on a bright red sofa. Oh no, low battery! Hmm, says here the photo shoot concept was mysterious doll resi residing in imagination. <laughs> Just oh. like Deathmark! That's so funny! <laughs> Looks like they Ooh. got the idea from some town's urban legend. So you're talking about death, Mark. You might as well bring in some of the characters. It's a perfect setup for Momo, the occult, occult idol. The doll makeup on her left arm and legs is so realistic. That's, that's, that's her. That's her, dude. Is her hair part of the costume? You really don't know anything about her, do you? Oh my god, unbelievable. Ugh. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Please don't make such a scary face, please. Silver hair is Momo's symbol. symbol. She always has this hair color, even when she's on TV or in movies. It's gotta be a wig, and they just didn't recognize her. Right, right? Another iconic thing about Momo is her outfits. This outfit's an exception, as she's always wearing frilly skirts. What do they call them again? Yeah. Gothic Lolita. The girl in the beginning is wearing Gothic Lolita. It's starting to become a big fashion look these days. Girls are trying to dress like Momo. Now that I think about it, that girl yesterday huh? was also in Momo style Let's fashion. Let's go ahead and think about that and tie it together. <laughs> hmm. That's her. That's her, right? <laughs> uh, it means that girl who got me caught up in her mess. Is she just like these two? A hardcore Momo Kuruse fan? Or is she Momo Kuruse herself? What color were Momo's eyes? Red? Brown? That's, no, oh, let's brown. just like her. Let's just like her. Go so, her. what do you think, Crimson? About what? Momo, of course. Isn't she real cute? <laughs> I'm neutral. What do you What do you think? Neutral. No response, huh? Since you're the serious type, you're probably not into this thing. Huh? What are you two talking about? <laughs> Just some guy talk. By the way, kid, you've seen Momo's debut debut work. Debut 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 work. <laughs> the horror rumors after school, right? Yeah, I saw it. Did you watch it too, Mister? M Mister, w well, I guess I'm pretty old from your perspective. One scene is my favorite. It's when a Mo when Momo's a transfer student and she's gonna go into this creepy old school. Oh, that one! The face she made when she was afraid—I really believed it was real. Right? Mommy's usually a big scaredy cat, but she's having fun talking to Madahashi, and he's pretty unsavory. The bond between fans works wonders, it seems. Momo's doing an outdoor concert soon in Shinza. I'm so excited for it already. Momo in person! Oh, I'm so jealous you're going, mister! Mom says that since I'm still in elementary school, I can't go to a concert. I'll be sure to get into full detail about everything the next time I see you, okay? Okay, this is like weirdly wholesome. Fans have to help each other out at times like this. Oh damn, I have to get back to the office. Don't curse in front of Ami! <laughs> Sorry for taking up so much of your time. I'll head out now. Goodbye. Well, that was that was that was strangely wholesome. All right, we're at the end of the episode. Uh, holy cow! I, I mean, I'm I'm <laughs> interested in these different things that they're setting up. This the, the, the she's the ghost. The the headphones. She's the ghost. The bombets pluble. The bombets pabule. <laughs> oh my goodness! All right, join us next time. This is Axis. This is Doey. Over, Over and out. out. Thank you.